morning. I'm Karen Morales. It's Friday, November 18th, and you're watching Nightly News. And I'm Jacob Campos. Thanks for tuning in for an exclusive interview with the 7th grade class officers. We'll go to Nightly News correspondent Ricky Williams. Thanks, Cameron and Jacob. I'm here with 7th grade class president Darian Pryor and Vice President Sabir Mohammed. Thank you for being here today, gentlemen. So, Darian, why did you run for class president? Thank you, Ricky. The reason I ran for class president of 7th grade is because I wanted to leave behind a legacy for the 7th grade students when I leave the school so they can remember me. Interesting. What exactly are you going to do for the students? And please, tell us about any field trips, because I'm sure everyone is dying to know. Oh. Mm-hmm. Get privileges like going outside during lunch, um, club day back, better cafeteria food, and as far as I know, there have not been any field trips planned, so when they do, I'll let you know. So, Severe, why exactly did you want to be the Aqualad to his Aquaman, or in layman's terms, Vice President? Well, I want to be, I want to be Vice President because I need, I, they, were the, they needed to have a good uh, Vice President behind the President, so if something happens to the President, there'll be a, a good Vice President to back him up. You're President a lot. Thanks for being here today, Darian and Sevier. We appreciate it. I'm Ricky Williams, reporter for Nightly News. Back to you, Cameron and Jacob. Thanks, Ricky. For the latest news and announcements here at MLCPA, we go to Nightly News reporters Michael Carlson and Nicholas Liggins. Thanks, Cameron. Here's what's coming up at MLCPA. Our middle school UIL team will be competing in HISD's second invitational meet this coming Saturday, November 19th at DeBakey High School. The Fine Arts Department would like to invite you to enjoy a fo- holiday celebration. Join them on Thursday, December 1st at 6 p.m. for the MLCPA Jazz Holiday Concert. Thanksgiving is next week. We will only be in school on Monday and Tuesday. MLCPA will be closed November 23rd to observe the holiday. Last Saturday at the debate tournament, Caleb Martinez received the third place award for the Lincoln Douglas debate, and Octavio Delegado made it to the semifinal. Congratulations, Caleb and Octavio. The annual Thanksgiving food drive is taking place from November 16th to the 20th. Sixth graders should bring canned green beans. Seventh grade should bring canned yams or sweet potatoes. Eighth graders should bring box stuffing mix. Ninth and tenth grade should bring instant mashed potatoes. And eleventh and twelfth grade should bring canned cranberries. All the food we collect will be given to families in need. That's all for the announcements this week. I'm Maddox Williams. And I'm Nicholas Liggins. Back to you, Cameron and Jacob. Thanks, Michael and Nicholas. Last week, the 7th grade journalism and economics classes went to the tour of the African American Library at the Gregory School. For a recap of the trip, we go to Nightly News correspondent Thomas Fernandez. Last Thursday, Mr. Bell's 7th grade journalism and economics classes went on a field trip to the African American Library. At the Gregory School, I'm joined by Isaiah Tins, a member of the 7th grade economics class, to, to discuss some of the things we learned at the library. Thanks for being here, Isaiah. Thanks for having me, Thomas. So, Isaiah, can you explain to our viewers what the library actually is? The li- African American Library is housed in Edgar M. Gregory School, where it served as the first public school for African Americans in Houston. It is the first library of kind in Houston and one of the few African American libraries in the country. And what is the library purpose? The library was established to serve as resource, preserve, promote, and celebrate the rich history and culture of African Americans in Houston and the surrounding region. What were some of the things we learned at the library? Well, there was so much to learn. They had some really cool displays set up that showed a ton of history about influential black Houstonians. I learned a lot like that Barbara Jordan was the first black woman to represent Texas in the U.S. Congress. I also learned about a really cool project the library is doing where they bring in elderly black Houstonians and create a video of the person talking about their lives and memories. We're doing a research, research project on some of the videos in Mr. Dallas' class, so I'm sure you hear about it more soon. That's awesome! If people want to learn more about the information about the library, where can they get it? They should go to www.thegregoryschool.org. The library website has a ton of helpful, interesting information. Tell me. I really appreciate you taking your time to be here, Isaiah. I'm Thomas Fernandez, reporting from Nani News. Back to you, Cameron and Jacob. I don't know about you, Cameron, but I really enjoyed our trip to the library. I thought it was really cool. 
I did too. I hope more students were able to visit and experience it. Back by, by popular demand, we bring you Joe and Mr. Prince. How are you, Mr. Prince? Oh, I'm doing good. I just heard some uh, great celebrity gossip. Oh. Yeah, apparently a judge has declared Kanye West and Kim Kardashian unfit parents, and they have to put their child up for adoption. Oh, that's some upsetting news. Yeah, it is. But fortunately, a, a faculty member here at our school is going to adopt the child, so it should be okay. So who's the new parent? It's Miss East, and the child's new name will be Northwest East. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Prince and Vicente. Here with a new segment, we call it The Chatter Show. It's 90 News Correspondent, Jonathan Shepard. I'm Jonathan Shepard. This is the Talent Show segment. Jonathan, we sure do have some time to students here at MLCPA. That's one word for it. Now we turn to Matthew Hudson with the sports update. Thanks, Cameron. On Wednesday, uh, Leland Nice faced the Black Panthers in both 7th and 8th grade basketball. The 7th grade team played first, and the Nice crushed the Panthers. 36-16, Notley News, um, Bryson Yarbrough was the top scorer of the game, scoring 15 out of the 36 points. The 8th grade team played a tight, intense game, although the Knights nice led the entire game. The Panthers started to rally with three minutes left, but out Knights nice shut them down and won with the final score of 22-18. Middle school soccer trials will be held after school on Wednesday, November 30th. If you, ha you must have a physical on file to try out. Most likely was making little sections to that world. That's all for a nightly news this week. I'm Matthew Hudson. Back to you, Cameron Jacob. Thanks, Matthew. For the most malicious news of the week, we go to nightly news reporter Christian Cheer. Thanks, Jacob. For Thanksgiving break next week. We have a very short menu update. So we'll only be in school for two days. On Monday, the choices will be pepperoni pizza, cheesy bread with marinara sauce, and butter jelly butter and jelly sandwiches. On Tuesday, we'll have a very traditional Thanksgiving meal option. Nacho bake and spicy chicken stuffed salad. Hopefully you'll enjoy some delicious food with your family during the Thanksgiving holiday the rest of the week. Hope you should share. Back to you, Jacob and family. Thanks, Christian. That's all we have for this week. I'm Jacob Campos reporting from Night in News. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm Karen Morales. From all of us here at Night in News, we wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Stars at night. Are big and bright Deep in the heart of Texas The prairie sky is wide and high Deep in the heart of Texas The sage in bloom is like perfume Deep in the heart of Texas Reminds me of the one I love Deep in the heart